as well. So um, we're just going to get going for the 16th annual State of the Net Conference, which is pretty remarkable, given it was this conference has been going on for 16 years. Um, Adam Thayer made a great post the other day um, on Twitter about um, how long this thing has been going on. Um, and the purpose of this organization and this conference was a meeting place for internet stakeholders. Um, there is no internet industry, and that was really profound um, at the beginning when we started doing this, that there was no internet industry in the city back in 1996, 1997. There was really just a bunch of um, public interest advocates, a bunch of civil libertarians, a bunch of libertarians, a bunch of freedom of expression folks, um, a few companies like AOL and UUNet and um, Netcom were like the big players. So there really wasn't an industry. There was just not, there really wasn't an industry like an established. Um but it all stakeholders that, that cared about the internet to, to convene. And that's really the purpose for this organization and this conference. Um, we don't take any positions on legislation or regulation, but we, we try to curate really important conversations. Um, the, the theme for this year is um, a new decade for internet policy. Um, that maybe seemed like a throwaway line to folks, but um, we really mean it. And we also were able to bring in um, the, the foremost internet archivist in the world, um, Brewster Kale, for our luncheon keynote. And so we started thinking about what the last decade meant. Um, starting in 2010 was essentially the decade of growth of all of social media, all of video streaming. Um, the internet as we know it today has grown profoundly over the past 10 years. And so we wanted to kind of, some of the panels today will want to take stock of the last 10 years, but also look ahead to what the next 10 years will bring. Um, a few housekeeping notes. Um, the hashtag on Twitter for today is SOTN 2020. Um, we are at SOTN is our Twitter handle. Um, the the, the Wi-Fi password, I made a few mistakes on the Wi-Fi password, but it's, um, it's convene and the password is stay connected, all lowercase. So I apologize if um, I, I made a typo here or there. The, Password is stay connected, lowercase. Um, we will have breakouts in all the rooms back here, the East Hub and the West Hub. And um, we'll also have a breakout here after the morning keynotes. Um, I think as far as uh, is, this, this space is incredibly crazy, um, I would not have thought I'd be standing up here in 2020 when vinyl sales have passed um, digital CDs, um, it seems kind of in, inverted to me. Um, and also the hyperbole of the internet is, is remarkable too, um, in the sense that you know recently a CEO said that uh, artificial intelligence will be more significant than fire, which I think is maybe a little overstating the case. But it, it just shows you kind of the, the polar ends of how people feel about these issues. Um, as far as keynotes today, we have, a, we have a whole series of morning keynotes followed by some breakouts including privacy will be in this room. And today is um, Data Privacy Day, World Data Privacy Day. So um, you'll also see a healthy uh, dose of privacy conversations um, today for State of the Net because it is Data Privacy Day. And the hashtag for that is privacy aware, I believe. So if you want to uh, contribute to that conversation. Um, our first keynote um, this morning is uh, Congressman Will Hurd. Um, he is from the 23rd uh, District of Texas. Um, immediately when he came into Congress as a freshman, he had assumed a, leader, a committee leadership position on the Intelligence Con Committee. He's now ranking member um, on the Intelligence Modernization and Readiness Subcommittee. Um, he is an enthusiastic supporter of the Congressional App Challenge for his constituents in the 23rd District of Texas. Uh, it may have something to do with the fact that he was a computer science major at Texas A&M, um, a former CIA um, official. He is one of my favorite members of Congress. And um, welcome today to Stay the Net, Congressman Will Hurd.